Welcome, welcome, patrons. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably have seen that the power supply on my computer decided to die. So, long story short, I wasted a lot of time on that, so welcome to today's backup video on a topic that maybe one person asked me once. Ghosts and Thetis. Ghosts or spirits? Something that is easily confusing for players is that in Thetis, there is a big difference between ghosts and spirits, where there isn't actually that much in the real world, or at least in English. Spirits in Thetis, which I have a longer video on if you want to know more about that, are basically beings created in the Fade. Ghosts are the souls of the dead that are trapped in the Fade or in the material world. So what makes this an interesting topic to talk about? Well, most people in Thetis don't believe in ghosts. Yes, you heard me right. Magic, very much a real thing. Dragons, oh yes sir. Beings have taken on one aspect of humanity to haunt you and torment you. Totally. But the soul of your friend coming back to say hello... No, not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. But to be quite honest, this actually makes a lot of sense in Thetis. But before I say why, let's talk about what the different faiths in Thetis believes happens to the souls of the dead. The Chantry. The basic belief of the Chantry, and honestly most of human factions, is that the soul of a person crosses the Fade to be with the Maker. At one point, they used to gather in the Golden City, but once that turned black, they believe the Maker and the souls of the dead are... somewhere else. Somewhere past the Fade and beyond. The Dalish. The Dalish have a very similar belief that souls cross the Fade and rest somewhere... in it, with the added belief that Fallon Din would guide them to their final resting place, or at least used to before he was imprisoned by Fen Harel. The Kuhn. While we don't know too much on what the Canari believe, we do know that they consider the Fade to be the land of the dead, and entering there while alive is forbidden. This brings up a whole bunch of questions, as we know Canari mages are a thing, and we know that Iron Bull has dreams. But despite all of that, the Canari officially denounce having dreams at all. This honestly goes down a whole rabbit hole of confusion, but that's something to keep in mind for later. The Avar. While the Avar have, again, similar beliefs that the souls of the dead go to live with the Lady of the Skies and the rest of their families, I don't believe it's ever technically said that they believe that they cross the Fade. That being said, the Avar worship spirits of the Fade, so the Lady of the Skies could be a real powerful spirit in the Fade, meaning that they do cross the Fade. Either way, the Avar are also the only ones to officially believe in reincarnation, which makes sense as their gods are spirits which can reform after being destroyed. The Dwarves. The Dwarves are the only faction to not have any beliefs centered around the Fade, which makes sense considering the Dwarves are not connected to it at all. Instead, they believe that good souls are returned to the stone and become part of the collective ancestors who watch over the living Dwarves. Bad souls are rejected by the stone and become demons and rock rates and all terrible things that will live away from all of their kin for the rest of eternity. So, as you can see, pretty much all of Thetis, minus the dwarves, believe that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, and therefore spirits, on their way to their final resting place. So why does it make sense that Thetis doesn't believe that they can see these souls during their journey? Well, long story short, because spirits are assholes and like to copy what they see. Even our good friend Cole is a spirit who took on the personality and made a body to look just like a real living boy and became him. Thetis doesn't believe in ghosts because they believe the real answer is that spirits reenact the personalities and actions of the dead. The ghosts you, you see aren't actually your friends, but just puppets and echoes of the past. I also think that the lack of belief in ghosts also serves as a thing of comfort. Better to have a spirit pretend to be your mother than believe that your mother has lost her way on her journey to her final resting place and who knows if she actually gets there. Which, that brings up another thing I want to add to this. Lost Souls. As seen in a few places in-game and in other Dragon Age media, it is actually very possible to have your soul trapped by either a demon or some sort of magic. The most notable instance of this is during Dragon Age Awakening, when the people of the Black Marsh were all spirited away into the Fade to be used by the Baroness to keep her alive. Their souls were trapped there for years, being used as a power source before the Warden frees them. I believe this is another factor as to why demons are so scary in Thetis. Yes, they might kill you in terrible, awful ways now, but it's also possible that your soul is trapped with them for all eternity. While we hear of and can even free many lost souls in the world of Thetis, one wonders how many are trapped 
waiting to be freed from the prisons to go wherever they are supposed to go, or believe that whatever hell or heaven that they are in is actually some form of demon trap and not where they're actually supposed to be. And that, dear patrons, is all that we know on the Ghosts of Thetis. This is one of those topics that isn't really set in stone. It's not like there's a lot of conversation around this in the games and the series. So this might actually change a lot in the future when we go to God knows where. But do you still have lingering questions, proof that I'm wrong? Comments about your own fan theory. Feel free to tweet me at Echolithon on Twitter or send a PM to user Gillanon on Reddit. Duress your all. <laughs>